Okay, this is site number three. Now we're off Highway 80 or S1, as it's otherwise known. This site is by far the largest site that I have found that is still, um, appears to have the full parameter intact, the outer walls. We're gonna go for a little walk. before we go in. That's Interstate 8, actually, in the background there. Don't mind the jiggle. That was the shoddy cameraman. I will show you that back in this room. We have an extension here. And <clears throat> in this extension, this little area back here that I'm talking about, um, we have a couple of holes in the ground, a couple of openings here, but on the outside of it, and I'll jump down here and get a better look. On the outside of it, and kind of scattered within it, we see this equipment, some kind of equipment, and uh, I know what I perceive it to be, what I believe it to be, and what I have been told that it was used for. And that is, this was all wired up with motion detection so that people that were out here, if they tried to escape, would have uh, triggered something off. You know, I believe this site also was used mostly to harm children, which is horrible, of course, and demonic. But... The fact remains that it was, and this equipment was used to most likely record and verify any movement or potential escape by anyone that was out here. But I find it highly ironic that most of it is still here. Granted, it's been weathered and everything. You wouldn't be able to probably get much out of it, but you could at least verify what it was used for if you were really interested in doing so. Again, another gigantic concrete site, cement walls with metal framing in the walls and whatnot, thick concrete. What were these buildings used for? The implications are not good. A 
another room back here. With who knows what was previously sitting on there. But these are in very close proximity to central San Diego and their construction is unknown, not really discussed. However, their purpose, in my estimation and in the course of hopefully doing legitimate research that is behind the writing of the song, A Place Without a Name, that I have also verifiably proven that these were Nazi facilities being used on American soil right here in San Diego County and other counties that I am quite certain also have the similar type of remain um, within it. For example, Kern County, I've already found some remains there. But these sites are torture sites. There's no other purpose for them. There's no record of them. Why were they here? When were they, you know, mostly put out of commission? It's worth asking the questions because I think the answers are more than obvious and these sites can't be explained any other way at all.